<clears throat> Hello everyone. I hope everybody's safe, happy, and healthy in this crazy 2020. Uh, we're doing fine here. Uh, staying busy and uh, playing golf. Uh, a lot of fun. Getting a little bit of work done uh, on the layout. Not a whole lot. Uh, I was just going to give you an update of, uh, you know, where I am at this point in September, the end of September of 2020. And um, like I say, I hope you're all healthy, happy, and safe. And um, our prayers go out to all those who are not and those who have passed. So uh, let's hope this all passes soon and we can all get back to some sense of normalcy, normalcy soon. So y'all take care. Bye. So here in September, uh, actually on the 24th of September of 2020, uh, it was an update to my layout. Um, not a lot done uh, since the last video. A uh, few more structures in. Um, I don't recall if I had that uh, structure right in here. So I'm get my finger in here somewhere. This, this one here uh, in on the last video. Uh, I'm working on that. I'm deciding to go with it, whether to go another half story or story on that one just to make it a little more more impressive and then somehow i'll bring a, a road out under here and cross the tracks for the loading docks underneath so um going from there uh and then there's really not a whole lot of work here in uh, spring grove um i still got to build uh, uh the station here the western Maryland freight station in here uh, no changes down in uh, the area where the Penn Central crosses over or underneath the Western Maryland. Um, and there's uh, no changes up here in Gettysburg. A little bit of dust I need to clean off the, <laughs> the uh, lake. But um, really not much done up here at all. I have started down here in Gettysburg to scratch build. One of my first uh, scratch building projects in a long time. Uh, I don't know why I put it off for so long. Um, but anyway, uh, here's a Carolina Craftsman kit that's driving me crazy. So I'm slowly getting it done. Uh, that building there uh, was actually rail served at one point. Um, so I'm working on uh, kind of scratch building that structure. Um, right at what time? At one time, it was a nursery. Uh, for plants and stuff, and it was real surge, so I will put a uh, abandoned track in there at some point. Um, so uh, that's what's going on up in Gettysburg and Spring Grove. Uh, we'll come around. I know I'm going a little slip fast here. Sorry, guys and girls. Um, so we come over here to Hanover Upper and Lower, and I uh, haven't worked much on the Utz Potato Chip Factory at all. Um, and I have put, semi put together the, in Lower Hanover, the, um, warehouse that's down here and did a little bit of rearrangements, um, of the way the tracks, uh, the, the, it's served by trucks and stuff. So I'll put a photograph over there showing the road going out. Um, actually that Natty Bow bo bottle was, uh, actually from 1951, the year I was born. So, uh pretty cool I'm just keeping it as a keepsake um, no changes here per se in lower Hanover or I'll go around here uh, I have started to down here at the engine facility uh, I found uh, the Western Maryland historical group on Facebook I uh, had sent me some pictures of the engine house in in Hanover uh, which appears to be semi like a roundhouse. So I bought a Walther's roundhouse kit that I need to uh, modify to kind of match what the uh, Western Maryland had there. So I'm kind of working on that. Uh, straightened out all the, the tracks going in. Uh, and then I got to modify the window configuration here. Uh, but that's a future project. I got a lot of other crap going on. So um anyway nothing really new uh, i did show you how i changed the track configuration here and it's working well um now that you know i don't have any derailments and things work out well in that area 
Um, coming around to Bittinger's here. Or Bittinger, I'm not sure exactly how that's pronounced. Um, come around. There's uh, really no changes in Bittinger. Um, just, uh, I, I picked up some of the Western Maryland, new Western Maryland stone hoppers from Bowser. I can't get the fourth one yet. I got, I got picked up three. I didn't realize they were out. And by the time I got around to them, uh, they were, they were semi gone. So, um, uh, I thought I had one from a place out Midwest hobbies, but, uh, they, they apparently did not have it in stock. So a little disappointed there. Um, no changes up here. Uh, you can see the stone train is not in right now. It's uh, scheduled to come in sometime today. Um, in, uh, down here in York, there's really no changes. Um, I think I had the, the uh, engine house built uh, before. Really, the only changes I've done is added some structures into uh, York down here when we, when we come around a little bit farther. Uh, oh, you know what I may have? That's right. I reconfigured uh, JE Electrics right there. Um, I used uh, part of a Walther's, uh, I mean, a Woodland Scenics built, uh, you know, completely built kit um, and uh, used portions of that, which is the, uh, the shed here and the shed uh, there and then used a design preservation model um, modular pieces to to build it out and in a Walther's uh, engineering office here um, I'm planning on in this area putting in an abandoned track in an abandoned industry I'm going to use one of the um, boy, I'm losing it here Sorry, had a little bit of a brain fart there. <laughs> I had an ITLA structure here I'm going to put in. Um, so, uh, no, no, actually uh, decided to put that somewhere else. This is going to be a, a downtown deco kit that I'm going to put in. Uh, Gingsburg, I think it's called. Um, and then right here is East Side Transfer with uh, Custom Model Railroads. Uh, that's going to go in there. Um, and in this area where the... FEC and Western Maryland car are, will be the Western Maryland York freight station. So I got that to build. Uh, so uh, coming around uh, another structure from ITLA that, that I got to complete. Uh, put in the parking lot, the great crossing here for the um, Williams Firearms and Shadows uh, Fire Apparatus Company, um, and uh, haven't really done much in here. Now, uh, here, I've changed the location of that building numerous times, and I've also put together this downtown deco kit, um, Burgess, I believe it's called. So, I just completed that, uh, put in a gravel uh, parking lot there, and uh, a dirt, dirt parking lot feeding here. Um, and then a uh, little bit of work down here where the Richland Road goes underneath the railroad. Uh, I don't know if I, on the last video, I don't believe I did have this C.C. Moran fine furniture. Uh, it's in memory of uh, one of the guys that was in my group that uh, sadly passed away, diabetes being the main cause of his death. Um, so, you know, please, those of you out there that have the diabetes, please, please, you know, take care of yourself, make sure you do things right, and what you need to do to keep yourself healthy, so, um, but anyway, uh, still working, done a little bit of scenery work, obviously, uh, grass and stuff, ballasted it somewhat, I haven't done all the ballasting, um, in the area yet, uh, as you can see, um, worked here on Ty's Toys, uh, Blocked in or bricked in some of the windows and uh, just painted up one of the Walther's kits uh, to match that. Uh, another DPM structure that I'm currently working on now, it's not quite finished, um, is right there. It's just uh, like a warehouse type of thing. Uh, I may some connect it with, uh, to Eisen's Plastics here with a, a walkway or a cross over the track. So um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, 
but um, anyway, uh, that's this area. We'll go up and kind of work a little bit backwards here. This is uh, New Oxford. Uh, really no changes here. Um, one of these days I'll get into putting the, uh, you know, adding details and getting the picket fence installed and stuff and the chain link fence around uh, Jaeger's Foundry. Uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, but it, it's kind of take a cheap. Whoop! Must have had a hurricane. A lot of trees down. Um, anyway, it's take a cheap. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of detail, a lot of figures and all need to be put back, put in, uh, to get, you know, to get, to bring it to life. Um, so, uh, here we go from there. Here's the configuration here in West York, which is down below. Um, kind of show you where all the tracks are and how the, the industries uh, line up. Uh, made that with a word actually uh, Microsoft Word um, and uh, this whole area here is going to be slightly reconfigured with different structures I won't made, use this ready-made structure for here this is just a placeholder for now uh, I have a couple other structures that I've purchased to uh, to put in its place so either one of those uh, two uh, pre pre-constructed sets now, I worked on the, the bridge up there. It's not quite complete, but at least I have the parapet walls in and the, uh, the, the stringers underneath and, uh, you know, some roads and, and stuff uh, going. I got a lot of work to do there. Uh, I also took out a, uh, what was a Y track in here. We never used it, and I started looking at aerial maps in 1974, and that, tr that uh, track was not there. Actually, it was on this side of the railroad, so... Uh, I took that out, and like I said, we never used it, so save some switches, and uh, actually an order reverser. So, um, we'll continue up here to uh, Rider Construction. Um, that's a neat little trailer that's a kit. I can't remember the name of the company. It's uh, made out of, like, paper and uh, cardboard. It's really a neat structure, easy to put together and paint. Um so there's the structure that uh, Howard Zane gave me, or, uh, you know, I, for, for helping him out with, with his latest video. Um, so uh, nothing really changed here. Uh, up here in Ortana or in Gettysburg uh, Battlefield Park. Um, coming down below to York and Lincoln Yard. Uh, there's the power to go out to take the train from uh, Lincoln Yard to Hagerstown uh, at the end of pretty much at the end of the run uh, the operating session. Um, there's a layout of Lincoln Yard area. Uh, have purchased a new a few new cars uh, over the last few months. Uh, I needed some gas cars uh, to serve uh, Otis Industries. And what I hear with Agway actually separated that into three kind of different spurs. One for lumber, one will be for grain and potash and stuff like that. And another one will be area for boxcars. So it makes it a little more fun to, to switch because you have to pull cars out of different tracks from the same, you know, from the same track and all. So it adds a little operating interest to, to what I'm doing. Uh, and, uh, so there's another ITLA, then I have to, the wall fell in, uh, finish the brewery there. Well, that's not a brewery. It'll be some industry. I haven't decided what, what it is yet. Uh, and no changes here. Um, so I'm just going to run you around and uh, phase over here to Porter's and show you what I did over there. So um, be right back. So here we are in Porter's. Um, I need to uh, finish this area up here. Uh, I was trying to exactly decide what I wanted to do, so that's kind of been in a semi-limbo because of that. Um, you know, kind of sink this area, and then uh, there is a row of homes along the road here between the two Ys, or between the two tracks here that form the Y, part of the Y. So um, I got those in. 
So that, that's looking kind of neat. Wouldn't want to be at that house. I'll tell you, <laughs> we park cars there right up against the house almost. But uh, not too, totally prototypical, but not bad. Um, so anyway, uh, obviously I need to finish the road here. But I think that's going to be a nice, uh, a nice video, nice uh, photographs when we're done. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, not that it really matters, I don't think. But I, I don't want to monetize. I just, I just like showing the railroad and, and giving people ideas and promoting the hobby. That that's the main reason why I'm doing these videos. Um, it, it just. Uh, and and the other people's layouts and stuff that that we're doing. So, um, you know, just to just to give you a feel for why I'm doing these. Um, so, uh, y'all take care, uh, stay safe, uh, and uh, hopefully this uh, 2020 and the COVID, you know, will be gone in a short time. I know we're get, everything's getting better and we're getting, you know, more. Uh, on the less and less cases per day and stuff like that. At least in Maryland, I know we are, sir. So hopefully that continues and, and we'll get back to some type of normalcy sometime soon. So anyway, take care, everyone. Bye.